I would like uh, to present myself. I am Professor Imam Morgan. I am the Dean of Faculty of Engineering and Materials Science, uh, the faculty which will be presented today. OK. Uh, uh, before uh, presentation, I would, I would like to mention a very important point. You will see and you will hear from anyone, from any faculty, that his or her major is the best one. However, believe me, there is no best at all in engineering. There is always the most uh, convenient major for your study. Therefore, the choice is yours, not for anybody. If you have certain talent, and according to your desire and the talent, you can choose your major. So if you have the creativity and have, in, in the same time, a good imagination, please join EMS. It will be the most convenient study for you. Now we are going to present EMS. OK. You know that there are three engineering faculties at GUC. The first one is the faculty you are going to present, EMS, Engineering and Materials Science. And two other faculties, Information Engineering and Technology, IET, and Media Engineering and Technology, MET. You have to know that starting from the next semester, third semester, you have to choose one of the three majors from EMS. However, you have to choose one of the other two faculties, either IET or MET. And further, you can start to choose the major from each faculty during fourth semester. Now, according to the following procedure. If you choose one of IET and MET, then the second step is to push safe. While for EMS only, after choosing the faculty EMS, you have to choose as well the major you, are join, you, are, you want to, to join, either mechatronics or design and department or material engineering. This is the third step you have to be to push safe. Now we are speaking about faculty of engineering and material science. At this point of introduction, you have to know its structure. It consists of the dean and supported by two vice deans. Professor Ahmed Abdul Aziz is the vice dean for Digital Affairs, and Professor Ayman. El Badawi is the vice dean for academic affairs. And we have three main departments, however. EMS is considered as the biggest faculty of engineering at GUC ever. Because under the umbrella of EMS, there are two programs. They are architecture and civil engineering programs. They are under the umbrella of EMS, besides the three main departments which are material engineering departments, mass departments. This will be presented by Dr. Amna Ramzi. And I think you know her very well, as she is the instructor of the course production technology, as you know. And the second department, very important department, is the design and production engineering department. It will be presented by Professor Lamia. And last but not least, Mechatronics Engineering Department uh, that will be presented by Dr. Amir Rajdi. OK, uh, there are some contacts you have in the flyers uh, for the dean and the vice, and uh, as well as the, the heads of the department. However, there will be another flyer containing the names 
of all members of the faculty for the three departments. Okay? I would like to thank you and I would like to invite Dr. Amna to present the material engineering department. Thank you. بصوا بقى يا جماعه انا دايما بتكلم معاكم في المحاضرات عن ديزاين اند برودكشن لان انا بقدم لكم البرودكشن تكنولوجي بس اكشولي يعني بيزكلي انا اصلا خريجه برودكشن تكنولوجي او ديزاين اند برودكشن انجينيرنج يعني من عين شمس وبعدين اي ونت تو جيرماني اند ذير اي ميد ماي بوست جراديويت ستاديز في الماتيريالز انجينيرنج فاكشولي انا قلبا وقالبا مع الماتيريالز انجينيرنج فتوداي اي ام بريزنتينج يو ذا ماتيريالز انجينيرنج ديبارتمنت ف in our department we innovate solutions okay this is our role i told you in my lecture that it's all our duty as engineers we solve problems specifically in the materials engineering department we innovate solutions how do we do that actually today i'm allowed to be biased to the materials engineering so i say we all work together all the science emerged from discovering the material. This is how science were found, was found, okay? So, we innovate new materials. Design and production department knows how to plan this, to produce it, as you learned in the production technology. And if I'm allowed to say about the mechatronics department, they make the systems or embed the electronics in this, so that you have products to use in your hands, okay? This is how we all work together, by sharing our creative ideas. The, all, the ultimate goal is that we have a creative product in our hands. This is the goal of each one in any engineering field. Okay? Good. Actually, since we are going into the students from the first semester, we are going into which revolution? Fourth Industrial Revolution, exactly. So we are seeking the self-organized systems. And to be able to achieve that, we work with artificial intelligence, we work with computer science, and of course, both are based on mathematics. This is how we invent new materials, or the fourth generation of materials. We are going to discover that together now. The World Economic Forum declared or reported that there will be a very high demand by 2020 on materials engineer from the several departments or the several minors, biochemicals, nanotechnology, and general materials. Well, now let me ask you a question. Have you an imagination? Who is materials engineer 4.0? Who does have an imagination? طب بلاش، إيه اللي حصل في إندستري 1.0؟ ستيم، تمام. 2.0؟ إلكتريستي. 3.0؟ لا مش إلكتريستي. كمبيوتر، صح؟ 4.0. Who will witness 4.0? Myself or you? You, who will select the materials, will be Materials Engineer 4.0. Let me start with the foundation, with Material Engineer 1.0. What did he do? He was, yes, exactly, an engineer in the foundry, and he made all his ideas in the foundry, or in the forgery. And he tried, by trial and errors, recipes, several recipes, okay? He made irons and steel and something like that. You have to know about it, right? So, if you will know about this, you are going to learn these courses, the basic material science courses, in your third and fourth semester. You are going to learn about metals, about ceramics, and of course, about polymers, which is my passion. Well, now what do you think? What will be the application here to show you? Daily activity of materials, engineer 1.0. Daily activity. He stayed in the foundry and in the forgery. What will be his daily activity? بيعمل ايه يا جماعه؟ واحد شغال في المسبك بيعمل ايه؟ 
بيعمل ايه؟ بيعمل فاستنج او بلاك سميث صح؟ This was the daily activity لوجيك ولا ايه النظام؟ نايمين ولا صاحيين؟ تمام طيب Let us see it. Materials Engineer 2.0 What did he do? He was a level ahead from Engineer 1.0 What did he do? He made his ideas in the lab and he knew new techniques to characterize his materials, okay? Because he shifted from the basic materials to the industrial materials. And then he could manufacture these. So as to give you this knowledge, you are going to study in your fifth and sixth semester about composite materials, materials analysis, polymer engineering, corrosion, and these things. Let's think together. Which application I'm going to show you now? Matching with this era. Trains. But if I chose this, what is this? Grain flow? La grinding stone? Huh? Which material? How the random structure, صح? How the random structure? It's okay. Huh? حد عنده فكرة؟ ده إنه نوع من أنواع الماتيريالز. حد يشغل مخه؟ ها؟ يا شباب؟ ما تمارش فيكو برودكشن تكنولوجيا ظلمة؟ ها؟ أير؟ يعني هو ده نوع من أنواع الماتيريالز. طيب الاستراكشر ده يا جماعة it is a normal structure ولا شبه الفوم شوية فوم صح طب لو قلت لكم ان ده تيتانيوم يبقى ده ايه يبقى فوم تيتانيوم ده عملوا اندستري عملوا ماتيريالز انجينير 2.0 في الاندستري ريفولوشن 2 طيب if we looked at our body at our bones ما فيش اي سيميلاريتي البون ستراكشر صح؟ طب where will be the best application for this؟ ميديكال بون ريبليسمنت صح؟ او مين ده؟ ايوه سمعت على صوت فولفرين صح؟ اول واحد استخدم التيتانيوم مش كده؟ تاني ابلكيشن حد قاله بتاع الترينز اكتشفوا السوبر كوندكتور ايه الابلكيشن بتاعته يا جماعه؟ صح ولكن عملوا بيها الايه؟ تمام؟ All these was invented by materials engineer 2.0 3.0, materials engineer 3.0 is myself and my colleagues in the department. How do we work? We model the material so as to be able to predict its properties by simulating it, okay? But since we lack knowledge from the global materials world, I have to verify my model. I have to know if my model is correct or not, if it could represent my material or not, right? So I must go to the lab to verify my model, okay? After I verify it, what do I do? I manufacture using the conventional method, the CNC, which we saw together, the lace, the milling, whatever. This is what materials engineers do and what I'm doing now. To be able to understand this or to have this knowledge, you are going to learn applications of the material. You have yet now gone the, or gained the knowledge, the basic knowledge, now we are going to apply it and to apply it for advanced materials. So we are going to learn about modeling and simulation, finite elements, and destructive and non-destructive testing, control engineering, design and experiments. Then you are going to apply your knowledge in your bachelor project or through internships between the semesters. Applications. What I'm going to show you now, what is a popular application of the advanced materials. Think. Hmm? What are you talking about? Marvel, too? It's not necessary, yeah. 
What is this? Hydrophobic, صح? Lotus effect, right? إيه أكتر موقف يبقى نفسي فيه في لوتوس إيفكت؟ في الجزر طب والكار أخبارها إيه؟ أنا عايزة مطرة تيجي عليها؟ بالظبط اللاك بتاع الكار يبقى أنا عايزة هيدروفوبيك سيرفيس ذات هيدروفوبيك رايت؟ سو أز نوت تراست أوكي؟ طيب إن مادي سيتويشن أنا بتهيألي محتاج الهيدروفوبيك صح؟ أحب أبقى هنا ولا أحب أبقى هنا دلوقتي؟ Thanks to Materials Engineer 3.0 for making these advanced materials. عايزاكم تتفرجوا على الفيديو ده. ده الـ Advanced Materials Self-Healing Materials في الميليتري. High Impact Technology offered up a new smart material that takes its cues from biology. I'm here to see how it works. Da hina andena two tanks. That would be used on a military. The military. Let the babet. And here's one. It has to be bulletproof. Technology's unique coating called battle jacket. This is a self-healing, self-sealing coating that was developed for ballistic events in theater. Is that military ease for bullet holes? Okay, exactly. The gun used for the test is the. لما ضرب بروصاص على التانك هيحصل له إيه؟ AK-47. هيتخرب. No wonder. طب if I have a self-healing material, what will happen? Self-healing material. The threat is obvious. The material will flow and will block the hole. So I will not spill gasoline. But what happens next is so surprising, it's hard to believe. بصوا حصل الأول فلو وبعدين الماتيريال سدت الهول دي الأدفانس ماتيريالز الديزاين ده what do you think إيه رأيك إيه اللي بيعمله فولدينج what source of energy does it require to fold energy which energy mechanical energy can I use this I can make advanced material that will fold to change its shape and volume without using mechanical energy, with just changing the voltage. And by other materials, I change the temperature. Think about that in space applications, where the limited space in the space shuttle, so I can fold my parts and then I let it expand on whatever surface I reach. This is one application. Other application. Is that this wheel from the shape memory alloys, which gains its shape once more after being deformed? There is no air in this tire. This is the trick. This is not an original uh, or normal tire. You, materials engineer 4.0, you are going to work in another world. You are going to use the virtual reality as your everyday life. You are going to base on the big data. You are going to use the artificial intelligence. Nowadays, they are being built a huge data bank for the materials properties to serve this. So you are going to simulate everything and you are going to see your material behaves under stress or under change in the temperature or whatever. You are going to do everything on the computer. You are going to design your digital material. So I'm using a conventional material and I'm trying to develop an advanced material. But you are going to design a digital material. We are going to know now together what is a digital material is. To understand this and to have the basics, you are going to learn in your last year in the ninth and 10th semester 3D printing, surface engineering, nanotechnology, and all this stuff which give you the foundation to be able or to give you the tools for the industrial fourth revolution. What is this? It's a plastic, but not thermal. It's a plastic, but good guess. One material, two material, or several materials? Several, who goes for several materials? Perfect. 
one property, two property, or several properties. How could you bring several properties in such a thing? This is a digital material. This is designed digitally. And this is the new era of the materials. I select properties. I mix properties together. And the mix of these properties will nature the mimic, like our bodies. إحنا معمولين إزاي يا جماعة؟ وإحنا إيدنا اتخرطت على المخرطة ورجلينا على المخرطة وجسمنا اتعمل على الفريزة واتعمل لنا أسامبلي؟ أكيد لأ صح؟ إيدينا لوحدها فيها كام ماتيريال؟ وكام بروبرتي؟ يبقى إيه البيست كيس؟ دايماً البيست كيس إن إحنا نعمل إيه؟ إن إحنا نعمل نيتشر ميميك مش كده؟ وده اللي إحنا رايحين له. وإت ويل أونلي بي أفيلبل باي 3 دي برينتينج. علشان كده النيو إيرا of the fourth industrial revolution. Lil materials engineer is the 3D printing. وده هيكون المجال بتاع شغلك. بطلع material or palette. But this is not a color palette. This is properties palette. So I tailor my properties inside one body. So I can have one body or one surface with several properties. Can you imagine that? So this will be one application. So I can have moving parts without energy requirements. I can use that for robots inside our body, which are self-propelling. Like that, for example. These are moving things without energy. And we all know the global energy problem. Or I can make self-assembly structures, which attract together to form some structure. Or you can also go to 4D printing. So you print a piece 3D printing, but you give it properties that will fold when you change the temperature, so that you will be perfectly fit with the robots. We don't, robots don't have fine motoric, so I need constructs or parts that self-assemble. Only materials engineer can realize that. We deliver you the best academic performance because we are accredited in the bachelor and in the master. And now, I um, want you to see this. This is one of our alumni and a successful role model from the materials engineering at GUC who is working now in a multinational company called Bosch. You know Bosch? You may know Bosch. So, who knows? No, she knows her name. أهلا وسهلا بحضرتك يا دكتور محمد. أهلا أهلا. يعني أهلاً برنامج مصر تستطيع سعيد باستضافة حضرتك. بتحب بقى نبدأ منين؟ أنا بالنسبة لي أهم حاجة عايز أتكلم فيها يعني هو هنتكلم إحنا بعمل إيه في ألمانيا؟ وليه إن موضوع إن ألمانيا مش مختلفة كتير عن هنا في مصر إلا في حاجات بسيطة لو هي موجودة هيبقى الحال كالحال. طب هسألك سؤال كده بقى عندك كام سنة يا دكتور محمد؟ أنا عندي 31 سنة 31 سنة ودكتور ودكتوراه وعلوم المواد و... خدنا الموضوع بسرعة بقى على طول <تصفيق> ماسترز وبي اتش دي على طول في... الدكتوراه من جامعة شتوتجارت الدكتوراه من جامعة شتوتجارت والماسترز والباتشلر من الجامعة الألمانية في مصر طبعا أنا عاوز أقول لحضراتكم الدكتور محمد عبد الحليم شغال خبير تطوير منتجات صناعية يمكن في أكبر شركة في العالم في البساتم البساتم بتاعة العربية في الموتور بارتس بواجه العام تمام دكتور محمد عبد الحليم شغال في الموتور بارتس اوكي تعالوا بقى نشوف مع بعض بيعمل ايه بالظبط في الموتور بارتس بس بما ان الكمبيوتر او السيستم مش عارفه هشغل لكم الايه الفيديو دايركتلي مش من جوه البرزنتيشن هو هنا بيشرح كماتيريالز انجينير عمل ايه بنتكلم باللغه الشعبيه الدرجه اللي وصلت جميل فسواء حاجات بتاعت المواتير عامه او اجزاء ثانيه في العربيات او في الحاجات اي حاجه ميكانيكال بتتحرك مم. مثلا ماشين كبيره بتشتغل في التنجيم مم. التنجيم ده بيكون فيه ميه وتراب وطين وحاجات كتير الكلام ده ما ينفعش يخش في الاجزاء الحساسه بتاع الموتور فايه اللي بنعمله مثلا عشان نخلي الحاجات دي ما تعدش طب احنا بنشتغل بقى في ايه مع شركات ايه الشركه بتاعتنا احنا بنورد لشركات العربيات الالمانيه تقريبا مم. وفي شركات ثانيه يعني مرسيدس بي ام دبليو مرسيدس بي ام دبليو بورشا 
اودي مثلا اودي طبعا فولكس فاجن النعم اللي بيجو دلوقتي رينو كل الحاجات اللي شغاله كله لان هم شركتين على مستوى العربيات والسفن السفن هم في شركتين كبار بيعملوا السفن في العالم المواتير بتاعت السفن في العالم هم في شركه اسمها ام ان ام اي ان بيعملوا عليك مصر مان زي بتبقى بتاعت عربيات النقل والشركه اسمها سويسرا ثانيه موجوده بس هم بياخدوا مننا وبنتعامل معاهم على حسب هم بيعملوا ايه الموتور حجمه قد ايه عايزين يعملوا آه ريتش قد ايه يمشوا قد ايه في البحر من غير ما يوقفوا لو حاجه حصلت مشكله في الموتور هنوقفه ازاي من غير ما نوقف السفينه على حسب هم عايزين ايه بنديهم البارت اللي هم محتاجينه وده بيجي لنا بقى منتج سواء هو اصلا حاجه جاهزه عندنا او هنطور حاجه كتير انا موجوده في حاجه بتاعه دارج يعني دايما دايما نقول بيست يعني فهمنا يا جماعه بنتكلم باللغه باللغه يعمل ايه ايه شغلته حد فهم طب مين ما فهمش طب اللي ما فهمش بقى يسمع اخر فيديو دكتور محمد بيشرح فيه بالظبط يعني ايه ماتيريالز انجينيرنج انت عايز تعمل ايه انت ايه ايه المشكله اللي عندك وعايز تحلها ايه عايز تحلها ازاي وده مخلي من اثنين يا انت عارف عايز تحلها ازاي يا مش عارف عايز تحلها ازاي لو انت عارف باخد منك الديزاين اللي انت عايزه او التصميم اللي عندك ونبدا نشوف نتناقش فيها ينفع ولا مش هينفع لو مش عارف تمام هقول لك اديني بقى تفاصيل زياده عن المشكله وانا هقول لك نعملها ازاي طيب معلش خلينا نمشي مع بعض خطوه خطوه جميل يعني ايه علوم مواد علوم المواد اسهل حاجه عشان نشرحها بحاجه بسيطه احنا بناخد اي مثال بسيط اي حاجه تتصنع من ده ثلاث خطوات اساسيين اول حاجه هقول الديزاين بتاعها شكله ايه هي شكلها عامله ازاي وبعدين هعملها ازاي؟ وبعدين هعملها من ايه؟ مم. انت عايز تمام؟ عرفنا بيعمل ايه يا جماعه؟ طيب اخر حاجه عايزه اقولها لكم بقيه الالومناي بتاعنا الحلو في ماتيريالز انجينيرنج لو عايز تشتغل في الاندستري هتشتغل زي دكتور محمد أو زي إيهاب سيف. لو بتحب الأكاديميك هتعرف تشتغل زي عبد المالك أو مارينا أو هبة وهتقدر تعمل بوست جراديويت ستاديز. لأن هو فيلد واسع وفيلد فيري كرييتيف وفيري انوفيتيف فموجود في كل حاجة. I want you to keep in mind something. عارفين الراجل ده؟ مين يعرف ده؟ دكتور ده محمد علي جودد هيز ا سيفل انجينير اند وان اوف جوجل اكس اكزيكتيف اوفيسرز فده سيفل انجينير مين ده ده واحد هندي اسمه بيشاي ده سي او بتاع جوجل ده ايه اصلا ماتيريالز انجينير ده مين ده شارما ده واحد هندي برضه هو اللي عمل فاوندينج لشركه اسمها مايكرو ماكس اول شركه في العالم تفتكر في فكره الديوال سيم للموبايلز ده ايه ميكانيكال انجينير وذس از نوت ا كوينسيدنس لان دولت انجينير زي ار فوكست اون ذا ابلكيشنز فخدوا الساينس بتاع الكمبيوتر والبروجرامينج معاهم از ا تول علشان يحققوا ابلكيشنز تتباع عشان كده they are successful فهمنا يا جماعة they are engineers not scientists آخر حاجة ده شوية من الديبارتمنت بتاعنا دكتور أحمد عبد العزيز دكتور علوي ودكتور ميدني وأنا we are responsible for the students عشان كده أنا حاطة المكاتب بتاعتنا وحاطة الإيميلز أي inquiry في أي field we reply on all the emails we have open doors for your inquiries في كمان الهيد اوف ديبارتمنت عندنا دكتور سيد عبد الباري وعندنا دكتور عباس ودكتور بكر. اوكي فيرست اوف اول الستاف بتاعنا ما كانش لسه كله جه لما بروفيسور مورجان عمل برزنتيشن للفاكولتي ف كان يو بليز اول ابلاوز فور اور فاكولتي ممبرز دكتور احمد شاش. بروفيسور حمدي أنديل دكتور محمد ميداني بروفيسور أيمن بدوي البيج بوس بتاعنا دكتور مورجان أور فيمس دكتور أمير 
Okay, uh, Dr. Hisham. Oh, you all know him, of course, Dr. Hisham Hamid. Dr. Muhammad Alwi. And my dear professor, Professor Nahid Al Mahallaw. Also, we have. Oh, I'm asking. <laughs> Dr. Ahmed Abdelaziz. <laughs> and of course, we have some of our TAs with us. They push a bit. <laughs> okay. As uh, Dr. Amina said, okay, why not Mona had hold our coordinator? <laughs> okay. As uh, Dr. Amina said, Danny, <laughs> uh, Materials engineers innovate. And we, production, design and production, and engineers create value. Okay? So uh, uh, it is always the role of someone to innovate something, and then someone else must add value to the created uh, uh, innovations. But I will be uh, a bit uh, out of uh, the regular a path of, an, uh, of a presentation, and let me t give you some tips. First of all, all of you will graduate as engineers, okay? So try to choose, <laughs> inshallah, yeah. so try to choose the discipline that will make you happy for the next four years of your life. يعني إيه؟ يعني don't follow your peers. أنا كان معايا ورقة فيها فيها statistic. بتقول بتهيألي انتوا كلكم عارفين دلوقتي يعني ايه ادفايزنج ستودنت صح؟ اللي هي الستودنتس اللي بت بت بتتاخر شويه او بيحصل عندها مشكله فبتغير ميجر اند سو اون 20% اوف اي ام اس ستودنتس اوف ادفايزنج ستودنتس ان اي ام اس ار ترانسفير ستودنتس واي؟ بيكوز دي ديدنت تيك تايم تو ثينك اباوت وات دي ونت تو ستادي دي ديدنت تيك تايم تو نو وات از ذير باشن They only follow their peer pressure. Okay? So take care. Then, choosing the discipline which will make you happy for the next four years, hopefully, will influence your first job. But this job may only last for a year, two or three. Okay? Why? Because sometimes you might find another opportunity or you might find your passion in something else. So you will have to move from one profession to another. But definitely, from five to 10 years, you will take a position in the place you are in. Sometimes, if you are approaching the 10 years, you will take a managerial position. And here comes the strength of design and production engineering. We are a very broad discipline. We are a broad-based discipline where you can fit in any job, in any engineering job, even if you are going to go up the ladder of managerial pots, again, the study in the design and production engineering department will help you do this easily. Okay? Fine. So let us start. Our department is called design and production engineering. Design is not engineering drawing, by the way. Okay? The engineering drawing, this is not design. It's the beginning. It's the first tool that you have to learn to design. So what is design? By definition, design is a set of decision-making processes and activities that are used to determine a certain form of a product. Why? Why do you need to design a product? Because someone needs to use it. You will design a product, though someone will use it. So, what are the processes of engineering design? First of all, you have to search for the problem. What are you going to design? What is the product? What is the service that you are going to design? So you have to, in our language, you have to identify the problem. You have to define the problem. Then do what? You gather information about the problem. What type of information do you need to perform a design? The size, very good. Function. Function, perfect. Material, very good. So I have to gather data to know how, how am I going to conduct this design. 
okay? Then identify alternative solutions. This is why we have alternative designs. And since I have alternative designs, I have to evaluate or take a decision. After taking a decision, usually, or in the past, we used to make a prototype. In the past, we used to make a prototype to prove that our design is functioning. Then we evaluate the prototype, refine if it requires refining, then communicate or disseminate to the next step, okay? This is how we design after completing your engineering drawing course, okay? You will, you, it, you, rarely you will use the pencil and the ruler. So this is how we design. This is how we convert your drawings user using the different softwares, uh, software packages, okay? And this is how actually you will be drawing now. You will only move arrows. You will click buttons, okay? But you have to know which arrow you have to move and which button you have to click. But it's much easier. The nightmare of design was always how to draw a screw. مش كده؟ أو a thread. لما يبقى عندكوا رسمة في الإنجينيرينج دروينج فيها thread أو فيها screw. It was a nightmare. بصوا قد إيه الموضوع بقى سهل. We are changing the length of the screw. We can change the diameter again only by clicking a button. So this is what you will be doing starting from your next semester. Fine. Then comes the role of production. What is production? And a production. Meherian production. Okay. Production, the noun, gave me the verb to produce. For to produce something is changing its initial form to another form. How in the world do you imagine that the material, the digital material and advanced material and uh, what else did you call it? Smart materials. How do you think these materials will be produced? How do you think will these materials be manufactured? How do you think these materials will be functional as a final product? Whether the final product, what is this? A solar panel or a robot or, عارفين من الإبرة للصاروخ؟ أو إحنا بنعمل حاجات من الإبرة للصاروخ. Okay? Or uh, some uh, uh, medical simple devices or even fast moving consumer goods like some fast foods, everyday uh, detergents or uh, things that we use and consume every day or even the suit of a space uh, uh, a space suit, okay? All of these are produced and are, pro and are produced using different uh, production and manufacturing techniques. خلاص يا جماعة؟ طيب. So, let us again say the first step, which is what was said by Muhammad uh, Abdel Halim in his video. He said what? I need first to design. مش كده? Then produce the material that was chosen for the final product. Okay. can he was addressing a final product. He give the final product characteristics or specifications mean mean. Mil customer, perfect. A design and production engineer must be able to know how to convert the customer requirements into engineering characteristics. Okay, so this is one of the uh, functions uh, of the activities that will be performed by a production engineer. So first of all, and then idea generation. Product design or product development? How a FIFA been a product design or product development? FIFA? A. Elfar. Hmm? The design be a creation, be a improvement or enhancement. Okay? The design be a creation, but if the design is already good, when I am doing development, I am doing development by method due to technology, I am doing development for the material that you are doing, 
اوكي سو ان ذس كيس انا بعمل uh, في في الستيب بتاعت الايديا جنريشن برودكت ديفلوبمنت ذن كمز برودكت مانيفاكتشرنج ودي بقى اللي احنا في الثيرد والفورث والفيفث سيمستر هناخد كل الطرق اللي ممكن تخطر على بالك وما تخطرش على بالك كمان عشان نعمل بيها مانيفاكتشرنج تو دو ذا برودكت اوكي سينس وي ار سبيكينج اباوت سمارت ماتيريالز ديجيتال ماتيريالز اند اي سيد بيفور هاو دو يو ثينك ويل ذيز ماتيريالز بي بروسيسد سو ذي ويل بي بروسيسد ايفن ايذر باي سم ريجولار اور تراديشنال بروسيسز or some non-conventional processes. Okay, now there are machines cutting with laser. And then حاجة اسمها laser cutting. Okay, and then a word, uh, uh, water jet cutting. And then حاجات كتيرة قوي non-conventional. And then the additive manufacturing, the 3D printing. This is a manufacturing process. Okay, so, but first, of course, we have to tackle the uh, traditional Uh, uh, methods of processing products واللي هي بنقدر نقسمها ل cutting and non-cutting processes او cutting uh, and non-cutting manufacturing processes cutting يعني بفيها material remover يعني بغير الفوليوم non-cutting يعني ايه؟ زي ايه non-cutting؟ المفروض دكتور امينة زي الفوجن زي الكاستنج اوكي يعني حاجات ما بعملش فيها material removing ب cutting tools وطبعا عندنا بعد كده زي ما قلت لكم كمبيوتر انتجريتد مانيفاكتشر لان دلوقتي احنا اتفقنا وي ار نو مور يوزنج ذا سنتر ليث ذات يو سي ان ذا ورك شوب دلوقتي ونقعد بقى ان ايدينا تتشحم وتزيت وتسود وهدومنا تبوظ وي نو مور دو ذس اوكي فهناخد كمبيوتر انتجريتد مانيفاكتشرنج وديفرنت تايبس اوف نون تراديشنال مانيفاكتشرنج اوكي فاكرين لما كنا بنتكلم وقلت لكم لما بنعمل ديزاين بنعمله بروتوتايب؟ اوكي؟ طيب بدل البروتوتايب بقى في حاجه ثانيه دلوقتي، مين عارف ده ايه؟ سيميوليشن، وي نو مور او وي ريرلي دو بروتوتايبس الا لما نكون بنتكلم في حاجه ليها علاقه بالسيفتي والهيلث. اوكي؟ لكن لما يبقى عندنا اريجولار برودكت وي نو مور دو بروتوتايبس، وي ابلاي سيميوليشن. وبصوا الفرق بصوا اللي بيحصل هنا واللي بيحصل في السيميوليشن واللي بيحصل على الحقيقه. It is a twin. What is happening here is a twin, is a mirror image to what is simulated. So yes, simulation will give you an accurate idea about what you will be uh, uh, manufacturing. Okay? I told you, I told you that we will uh, uh, be acquainted to different computer integrated manufacturing techniques and one of them is the uh, CNC machines and this is one of the most complex CNC machines because it moves in five axes. اللي بيحصل هنا Again simulation. مين اللي بيعمل ده؟ مين اللي بيعمل الجزء ده؟ انتوا. انتوا اللي هتعملوا الجزء ده. والمكنة هي اللي بتعمل الجزء ده. ازاي؟ By entering a certain code to the machine. الكود مين اللي هيعمله؟ انت برضه. Okay? So you will know how to write a program or how to write a code that runs different type of computer integrated Uh, equipment okay fine احنا اتكلمنا عن ايه وايه اتكلمنا عن حاجتين في البرودكشن idea generation اللي هي product design او product development وايه كمان وال product manufacturing هي الدنيا بتقف عند كده امال محتاج اعمل ايه تاني هو الحاجه هتنزل تروح الفاكتوري اريا او البرودكشن اريا لوحدها كده ولا لازم تنزل بسيكونس ولازم تنزل ببلان Okay, again, it is us production engineers who, is, who are responsible for production planning and control. For production planning, by production planning, we are the, our production planning is the brain of the production system. Why is it the brain for the, of the production system? تفتكروا يعني ايه planning؟ يعني ايه production planning؟ Okay, صح. 
احنا بنقول البرودكت ايه السيكونس اللي هيمشي بيه هيمشي على ويتش بروسس الاول على او على ويتش اوبريشن الاول then what is the next operation then will it be stored or will it or, or will we continue uh, performing or conducting different operations على البرودكت نفسه طب هي الدنيا بتقف هنا ولا في حاجه قبل كده وحاجه بعد كده اللي احنا قلناه دي اللي احنا وصفناه ده اسمه ايه ما اسموش برودكشن على فكره الستبس اللي انا قلتها دي ما اسمهاش برودكشن اسمها ايه امم اسمها مانيفاكتشرنج اللي انا قلته ده اسمه مانيفاكتشرنج لان البرودكشن اعم شويه فزي ما بقول لكم كده في ايه قبل المانيفاكتشرنج وايه بعد المانيفاكتشرنج بعده صح حد هيروح يستخدمه بس قبل ما ابتدي مانيفاكتشرنج انا محتاجه قبل يعني خلاص عملت الديزاين وعايز انزل على البرودكشن اريا قبل ما ابتدي مانيفاكتشرنج اعمل ايه انا خلاص عندي ديزاين عايز اعمل له مانيفاكتشرنج بلاننج حلو قوي حد بلان ايه حد بلان كميه الماتيريال مثلا اللي انت محتاجها حد بلان وات ار ذا تايبس اوف ماشينز اللي انت محتاجها حد بلان فور ذا اكيوريسي بتاعه الماشينز اللي انت عايزها بيزد على الديزاينز والفيتس والتولرنسز اللي موجوده على الديزاين بتاعك صح الكلام ده كله بيتعمل قبل المانيفاكتشرنج اللي هو قبل الميكنج خلاص وبعدين الكلام ده كله او الماتيريال والسبير بارتس والتولز بجيبها منين بعمل لها اكستراكشن منين من بالظبط كده الرو ماتيريالز بسميها محطوطه فين في ستورز في انفنتوري وكده ولما بتخلص بتروح فين انفنتوري برضو مش كده عشان كده one of the most important jobs اللي موجودة في any type of industry any type هي ال inventory management أو ال inventory control okay and this is part of the production planning activities خلاص نيجي بعد كده ال production control مين كان بيسأل هنا على quality control أنت تعرف إيه عن ال quality control يعني إيه quality control اكزاكتلي exactly. بعد ما البرودكت بيخلص ستيب معينه بقول انا عايزه اعمل عليه كنترول ليه؟ عشان ما يروحش على الستيب الثانيه اوكي ويحصل فيه ايه؟ يتعمل عليه مانيفاكتشرنج فاد فاليو للبرودكت والبرودكت ده بعد كده يطلع بايظ اوكي؟ اند ذيس از اجين وان اوف اور كور كورسز اند وان اوف اور كور بروفيشنز هي الكواليتي كنترول ومنها بنروح على التوتال كواليتي مانجمنت اللي هي كلنا بنسمع عنها. اوكي؟ وات ايلز از ريليتد او وات اذر توبكس ار ريليتد تو ديزاين اند برودكشن انجينيرنج يو ويل ليرن هاو تو دو ا فيزيبيليتي ستادي فور ا بروجكت. في حاجه في كورس اسمه انجينيرنج ايكونومي. You will be able to design a facility, and again, regardless of the type of the product this facility produces. Okay, the facility دي لو هي service facility أو لو هي facility زي ما بقول زي ما قلت لكم بتعمل something very simple أو بتعمل another complicated product هي اسمها facility عندنا كلهم زي بعض. Okay, أو the facility دي بتستخدم conventional machining أو بتستخدم Non-conventional machining again, you will be able to design this facility. اللي أنا كنت لسه بتكلم عنه من شوية quality management. في ناس كتير منكم سمعوا عن six sigma و lean manufacturing. دي التكنيكس الجديدة اللي الناس بتستخدمها عشان تضمن إن ال product خارج right the first time زي ما بيقول. Okay? And finally, you will be very well acquainted to project management. How to manage any type of projects? Okay. Min sema an term da abli keda. Supply chain management. This is the hot topic today in industry and in multinationals. Okay. Again, in our department and embedded inside our courses, you will be able to take basics that will help you if you need to specialize in supply chain management. Finally, I will not speak a lot because Dr. Amina covered the four industrial revolutions, but I want to tell you something. Always the different types of revolutions are there to serve design and production. Okay? 
all industrial revolutions were made only, not only, but to serve the method of designing, the method of producing, to facilitate the process of uh, uh, conducting or forming a product, to facilitate the, uh, uh, the skills or to increase the skills of operators or to reduce the time in which the product is manufactured. Okay? No production, you have no product. Any product. Okay. According to a study conducted by uh, Fraunhofer Austria and uh, Theo Vein, uh, for Industry 4.0, some change of qualification requirements are required. And they are mainly based on production engineering activities, which is the production planner and the shop floor. This is called the physical system. Any other digital system is called, in literature, is called a supporting system. Okay? So this system supports the physical system, which is the base of any uh, industry. Finally, as you see, you can fit anywhere inside any uh, manufacturing facility or even service facility. And this, will, this is what you will see now. Where are our graduates? Where are our graduates? I'm going to tell you guys from the time and people who are still coming from the year that has passed. Our graduates, one of our graduates, which is Ahmed Tantawi, is, is the sales manager, actually region, regional sales manager of GE Oil and Gas. Why? Because he knows how to deal with different projects and how to define customer requirements and how to transfer these customer requirements to business. And this is one of the uh, main ideas of our department. It is the only department that will relate between engineering and business. Okay? That will let you graduate with a business background and with a managerial background. Uh, again, Ahmed uh, Adam Raslan is conducting his master thesis in Aachen. Maryam uh, decided to shift career and she went to Orange Business Center and again she fitted there very well. Other uh, uh, graduates? Other graduates are in Edita. Mustafa is in PNG and he is now the sales logistic leader for a certain region. Ahmed Samah is an SAP production planner consultant, and he's only, has, he has only graduated last year. And not uh, uh, strange that we have some graduates with startups. Omar Laz was a former PNG uh, uh, employee, and then he created his own uh, home design uh, uh, brand. And Hazim al-Shitlawi created Connie Ward, those who were here in the, uh, 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 the charity bazaar. Okay, on Mother's Day, he was there. He's a celebrity now. He's everywhere on Facebook and so on. <laughs> okay. Again, one of our unique activities in the design and production department, nearly 70%, if not more, of our bachelor products are, sponsor, are sponsored and supported by industry. We have conducted uh, bachelor projects in Mars, Egypt, in Electrolux, in BMW, Mercedes, Hetma Pharmaceuticals, so we are into pharmaceutical industry also, in Leone, and I think, uh, again, Mohammed Abdel Halim mentioned Leone because it, it, because it is the company that produces the harnesses, the head of fire, the Arabiyat, and Henkel, and many other uh, 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 multinationals. اللي أنا أقدر أوعدكم بي إن أنتوا كل حاجة هتشوفوها throughout the courses هتشوفوها في حياتكم. إحنا مش لاب هتشوف في شوية حاجات ما تعرفش تطبقها برا. أوكي؟ okay? إحنا department كل حاجة بتشوفها هتعرف تعملها بإيدك. كل حاجة بتشوفها هتقدر تنفذها. كل experience بتاخدها في يوم من الأيام you will apply it somewhere. Okay? So this is something that I am capable and I will keep my promise uh, 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 in what in, in my words. <coughs> Top sectors for engineer, of course, the, uh, for the production engineers of core manufacturing industries, 
research labs, and one of the boosting positions and was mentioned in the 2020 forum, being a data analyst. Because you have a background, you will have a background in statistics due to uh, some studies, some courses. Then in the communication sector, as you've seen, we have uh, graduates in EMC Square Dell and in Orange, in pharmaceutical industries and in sports also. Why? Because we have uh, uh, Jidio New is one of the uh, owners or, or a co-owner for, for San Francisco football team and he's a production engineer. Okay? These are examples for production engineers and industrial engineers. I will, uh, I will upload this uh, presentation on the uh, design and production engineering folder for you to check. And let me, last but not least, uh, uh, finish my presentation with the same slide that Dr. Amina started with, because we really work together. Because if there is no innovation in material, we will not be uh, uh, promoted or uh, we will not be encouraged to uh, uh, innovate in our production processes. Finally, this is our faculty. Our head of department is Professor Mohammed Kamal Shoukri and Professor Nahid Al Mahallawi. We also have uh, Professor uh, Atif Afifi, uh, uh, Professor Associate Professor Dr. Ahmed Shesh, and he is, by the way, our uh, consultant at the day a day, and he's always supporting students for internships and bachelor projects in Germany, and he's right there. And myself, most our offices are located in C7, either in the ground floor or the first floor. Whenever you move, you will find us. Okay? Thank you, and any questions? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to present my mechatronics engineering department. We are part of the EMS faculty, and today my talk for the mechatronics department, I'm going to focus a little bit about the work opportunity, what we are starting to teach you in that uh, department, why I'm trying to market such a thing like that, because today we are not in competition ever. We are trying to get you to select the proper like, let us say, like the proper decision in your current age. And we are trying to show everything from our point of view, which from my side right now, I'm going to push you somehow a little bit to the mechatronics department. I'm Amir Ali, I'm an assistant professor in the mechatronics in the engineering department. And let us start as we are trying right now to take you to be able to select the first faculty, EMS versus MAT or IET. So today, our mechatronics department, it's a part of three departments in, in the EMS, as Professor Morgan started to say that in the beginning. And today, I'm trying to convince you somehow to go to that major. So let us have like three quotations. I would like to focus on them a little bit. And this is have some sort of information I'm trying to get you through this presentation. At the beginning, I need you to focus a little bit about this quotation. Don't listen to what people say, watch what they do. I am not talking that about something here in this auditorium. I'm talking that as a general rule into your life. Don't listen, just watch. Figure out if something like this is a stereotypes or not. Don't think of the cost, think of the value. Sometimes a lot of your peers in the previous semesters, maybe they said, okay, mechatronics, it's a little bit harshing, a lot of works, a lot of exams, it's really hard. You don't have to spend such time to do that. Maybe better you can go to computer science, maybe you can go into IET, it's much better, it's much easier. But I'm telling you, for all of these departments or all of these faculties, you are going to spend five years, tons of works, tons of research, tons of hard working for the next five years. So think only about the value. Is this the value that you are looking for to be graduate with after five years? And the final thing I need you to be able to take the right decision. Because if you don't think, if you don't risk anything, you are risking everything. So let us start by the mechatronics staff and colleagues. 
Professor Imam Morgan, he is the dean for the, fa for the EMS uh, faculty and his research focusing into system dynamics and robotics. Professor Ayman al Badawi, he is re his research and his lab focused in the control systems for the linear controlling system and the nonlinear as well. Professor Hamdi Andil, he is working and or his research and his team working with fluid mechanics for dynamics and the statics as well. Professor Islam Khalil, he is working with medical robots and drug delivery, we are, as we are going to see that in this presentation. And I am working with the sensors technology for the brain-computer interface or for the biomechatronics. And Professor Hisham Hamid, he's working with the solid mechanics. And his research as well, working with the solid mechanics, finite elements, something really important as my peers and my colleagues start to just show you right now. As you are going to see right now, our department somehow, it's a mix from different departments and faculties as well. So, in the graduate for the mechatronics supposed to be able to understand and to make sure that all these projects or all these points start to be covered. So, our graduate or the graduate for the mechatronics supposed to be covered the mechanical system from the designing perspective point of view, as Professor Lamia just mentioned right now, the control algorithms, this is the most important, unique part for the mechatronics. This is the only department will show you how to be able to control something globally. So, the, 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 let us say the limits between the design and the mechatronics. Mechatronics is the design engineer. However, what something adds for us, nothing but the control theory, the control part. And the computer software or the, or the let us say, the computer science is something really important for us because how you are going to control such a system. You are going to deal with computer science. You are going to work with softwares. But our oriented softwares, we have something specifically for us, just for mechatronics. You are not working as a programming language with the guys who are working with the games. We don't care about the games. We need a final big project or final big product. And at the end of the things, you have to put the interface for that control to be able to operate this mechanical system through the electronic circuits or through what's called by BCB system or printed circuit boards. So we are not mechanical engineers. We are not a control. We are not computer science. We are not electronics. We are mechatronics, and the distance between all of these is supposed to be literally equal from each other's. So that's what gives you a huge background. I need you to stop by any professors for the department and look to their libraries in their office. You will find a big diversity coming from mechanics, strength of materials, design production, computer science. And all these could be able for the guys who are graduate from our department to be able to, to get all this information. And that's convert at the end of the day as a, one of the benefits for you in the market. Because one day after you are graduating from here, you are looking for where I'm going to work. So maybe if the market at that time, at that age of you are going to, to graduate, looking for computer science. It's not a big deal. As I'm going to show you, your peers from the graduate students, you'll find out mechatronics students, they're making a huge impact to that field and also for the other parts. So we are having, we will support you with a huge and the big background. Let's you to be able to understand the new era of technology. Okay. So the total number of the EMS during the past, let us say, seven years since 20, 2008 till 2017, the last two years, this is the total number of the students for the EMS. However, the mechatronics take the big portion somehow, and that's, as I'm telling you, don't take it for granted. As I'm telling you, don't listen, just watch your peers and your colleagues. And I would like to, uh, to, to mention here that 20% of the advising students could be transferred from another majors to the other majors during the years. But don't take that as an option, because that will make you somehow a little bit far away from your dream if you would like to graduate from here in a specific five years. 
So that will take some, so, some, somehow a little bit longer time. Examples for the Mechatronic system, I'd like you to go through it. As I just mentioned right now, for, for you, I just mentioned there's some sort of computer science in, in the loop. So here is the quadcopter. Somehow, this is the work programmed and designed with the students like you, your peers, and somehow the fifth semester. So here's some sort of virtual reality for the quadcopter and it start to be coded somehow to be able at the end of the day to get that information for the quadcopter, how it moves, how it rotates, how, it, how it's supposed to be lift in the air and all that dynamic system as Professor Imam as a Professor Ayman, who is the leading in this part here in the GOC and also globally. So, this is after we simulate, this is called simulation, and after that, the students are supposed to return back to what's called by emulation process. So, all the students are supposed to get their point of view as a software first and simulate that, and then start to emulate that in reality. And this has happened here at the GUC under supervision of Professor Ayman the Badawi with his team. This is the design we didn't build something like that. We created from scratch, from the design point of view, from the control point of view, and the synchronization with the electronics and circuits, which is the code implemented on the top of the drone. Also, another option I would like a little bit to stress on it. Once you're starting to talk with the guys with the computer science background, they do everything in the screen of the computer. You don't need to go anything further than that, as my peers, they are going to illustrate for you in the next other faculties, next couple of days. However, we started first by what's called by mathematical modeling. And this is all professors in different majors start to support you during their lectures like Professor Imam, Professor Hamdi, and Professor Hisham, all of us trying to get you to be able to describe the real mechanism somehow in equations. That's why at the beginning of your studying here, you have to focus a little bit into differential equations and such. However, this is without application. With, with us, with our department, there is a big aim and there is application for such a thing like that. After you create your mathematical approach and mathematical, let us say, programming, then we have such simulation, as I just mentioned right now, to see how such an equation like that trying to support you to describe each point on that robot. And at the end of the day, these robots are supposed to be fabricated through the 3D printing techniques, and at the end of the day, that should be able to implement on the hardware. So we will get your hands as a little baby starting from creating this equation to be able to simulate that and at the end of the day to create some, something from scratch as a final big project. So you are going to have the big project which is the bachelor project at the end of the year of fourth year which is at the eighth semester. And this is, would be something really important for all of these students as I can see them right now because that will merge all these impor imp important information and melt it into only one pot. This one pot will be your bachelor degree, its individual project. And after that, you have in the fifth three year what's called by pre-master courses. This pre-master courses, a lot of them with electives. And here is the treasure. Here is the big something I need to focus about it right now. As somehow for the stereotypes you may hear and you may, you may listen that Mechatronics, you have a huge background. I need to, specif to specifically working with the fluids. I need to specifically working with robotics. I need to specifically working with the design and finite elements. So this year will help you a lot because the number of the elective courses, we are diving more into advanced courses. So after you are going to have the big general background, I do promise that you will have somehow the, so the same information about your peers in the three other faculties, more or less, but if you need and you get your decision, that year will help you because most of these courses into that year becomes elective. So maybe you will be professional in such a 
a specific part and this is, takes you to the spe to speciality if you need to specialize something in the mechatronics. And it's considered as a pre-master courses, so if you need to continue to get your master's degrees, that would be happened after spending six months at least to pursue your master's thesis. If not, this is only sufficient for the bachelor's degrees. For sure, all the masters and the bachelor's degrees accredited from the Aquin for the mechatronics department. And that's something you can be able to help you a little bit because if you are willing to travel somehow to Europe, to Germany, that would be something beneficial for you. So now I described how our methodology into the teaching program and some sort of examples from your peers. Today I'm going to show you how the SCAD office, and this is something really important for all the students in front of me right now, because this kind of office in the university will help you and support you to be able to get to find job, internship, and all the important information that would be good for you. If we went to that office and we'll ask for our graduates where the, our graduates are supposed to be, all these companies are supposed to find out Mechatronics graduates. The diversity, it could be leads you a little bit to some sort of uncertainty. There are some guys working with the petroleum and the oil applications or oil companies, the other automotive, the other was embedded, and the other was circuits and electronics. So all that would be taken as a beneficial part for all of you. If you'd like to go to search for where you could be able to find a job, now it's pretty easy to search that on the wasdof.com or on the LinkedIn. If you find out that, you will find out there is need for automation engineer. One of these parts supposed to be with the mechatronic system. Also, mechatronics IoT. IoT, as my peers in the next couple of days, Dr. Amr Talat will show you what is IoT, Internet of Things. And this is Internet of Things is not located or just locked for the guys who are background, electronics background. As you can see here, they are looking also for the mechatronics as well. If we going somehow to the big companies with the softwares, also Google and the Facebook, they are looking for mechanical and the mechatronics as well. This has happened in Apple and this has happened in, me, in Facebook as well. So now I find out if I would like to convince you a little bit with such a major, let me show you, as I mentioned at the before, like don't listen, just see how your peers is going to be. This is video would be a little bit eight minutes. It's a message from, from your peers to you from different years. My name is Mustafa Hussain, Khalid GUC 22 Dash Mechatronics. I'm from 2015 and 2015. I'm Mahmoud Dinali, Khalid GC Graduate. أنا سامر عبد الماطي جي سي 22 داش ميكاترونكس جاديو. Hello everyone, I'm Karim Tanas, جي سي 22 داش ميكاترونكس. أنا زاد الشافعي سيرت فور داش ميكاترونكس. اشتغلت سوفت وير تيستنج كونسلتنت لمدة ست شهور وبعد كده اتنقلت شركة اسمها Advances Engineering Services and Consultancy. He was software at the beginning. Advances simply شغالة في كل ما لها علاقة بالإنجينيرينج في ثلاثة مين في مين ديبارتمنتس في Advances هما software و mechanical و control وأنا كميكاترونكس جراديويت I can fit يعني in any of these. أنا اشتغلت في ديبارتمنت السوفتوير اشتغلت از سوفتوير ايميوليشن انجينير بشتغل في فوجرو اس اي اي انا فاصل فوجرو از نيو كومباني ان ايجيبت فور روفرز اندر اندر ووتر هنا مينلي ار او في اند ريموت اوبريتنج اندر ووتر فيكن هي عباره عن فيكن بكاميرتين بتنزل تحت الميه تعمل فانكشن بتاعتها سواء تجيب حاجه من السي باد او يعني في شويه حاجات بتتعمل تحت السي باد يا اما يجيب حاجه يا اما يستك يا اما فيجواليز حاجه معينه عملت ماسترز في سيستمز اوف كنترول في هولندا و سبيشاليزيشن روبوتكس اند ميكاترونكس ودلوقتي بشتغل ميكاترونكس سيستمز ديزاينر في شركه اسمها اي اس ام ال leading companies in the oil uh, service field worldwide. 
He was doing his bachelor degree in New York University. I'm head of the project. He's still undergrad. 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 He's still Vans is doing simply, uh, briefly, he can achieve in partnership with a company called Dematic. Dematic is working in warehouse automation systems. For uh, clients from Egypt, uh, Amazon, or Carrefour, or supermarkets, or big manufacturers, so that's the idea of my work in Vans. I worked in Vans for about a year or a year. And then I went to Germany for the last year. I started my master's at the University of Freiburg. His master in business systems similar to IET. Between software and hardware, but I entered more into computer science. And he's working deeply in the computer science. On microsystems, to be clear, يعني. فكرة إنها شغالة على تشيبس ومايكرو كنترولرز والدنيا دي كلها ده جزء الهاردوير بالنسبة لي وجزء الكمبيوتر ساينس دخلت في فيلد الارتفيشال انتليجنس والماشين ليرنينج خلاص اوريدي خلصت السنة من الماستر ساعتي وخلصت كل الكورسز وحاليا المفروض ان شاء الله ابدا اعمل ماستر ثيسس بتاعتي السمستر الجاي في شركة اسمها زاد اف فريدريكس هافن في المانيا شركة اوتوموتيف سبلاير زي بوش او كونتيننتال او فاليو شغالة في اوتوموتيف سيستمز لكذا كاستمر في المانيا والعالم كله هيبقى البروجكت بتاعي مينلي ان ديب ليرنينج فور درايفر اسيستنت سيستم ان احنا بنستخدم ديب ليرنينج ان احنا نعمل سيستم لعربيه معينه فور اوتونومس درايفنج بس وذاتس ات فاحنا هنا مينلي شغالين على ميكانيكال سيستمز والكتريكال سيستمز شويه بيخشوا معانا هيدروليكس في شويه كنترول بسيطه زي الروبوتيك ار اس بي وهي دي اصلا الار بي بتنزل باللارج سيستم بتاعها اللارج ريكفري سيستم بس اللارج ريكفري سيستم ده يعني هو المسؤول على ان الار بي تنزل تحت الميه It's a mechanical system supported with robotic arms to be able to fix any piping inside or underneath the wall. Integrated circuits, the ICs, meaning the processors, the mobile apps, the memory chips. So, companies like Intel or TSMC, or Apple or Samsung, they buy the ASML machine that can be able to realize or to design the processor or the chip, the very precise chip that has billions of transistors in a size of a centimeter. فحوالي 85% من اي الكترونيك ديفايس حوالينا الشيبس بتاعتها اتعملت بماشين اي ام ال فطبعا واحده من الكور كومبيتنسز لاي ام ال هي الهاي هاي بيرفورمنس ميكاترونكس زي ما بيقولوا وطبعا السيربو كنترول والفايبريشن كنترول كل انواعه من لينير لنون لينير كنترول روبوست كنترول اوبتيمال كنترول اللي جاست منشن رايت ناو ذا كنترول از سمثينج كلها بتبقى كورسز ميكاترونكس جرادويت او جرادويت لايك سي تو بي يونيك ويز ريسبكت تو ذا ميكانيك ف ميكاترونكس عندي خلفيه في الالكترونكس والكمبيوتر ساينس والميكانكس والكنترول سيم هي ستيل اندر جراد باي ذا واي بتاعتنا هنا في الجامعه حلوه قوي عشان النقطة دي بالذات، أنت هيبقى عندك خلفية في الحاجات دي كلها، فأنت قدامك اختيارات كتير جدا إنك تختارها. لما جيت أقدم هنا في الجامعة في إن واي يو أنا اللي عملت البروبوزال بتاعي، ما اختارتش البروجكت، قلت لهم أنا عايز أعمل واحد اتنين تلاتة أربعة. واحد اتنين تلاتة أربعة إن أنت عايز تعملهم، بيجوا لك إزاي؟ أنت دلوقتي في فترة الأندر أنت كأندر جراد هتقضي الموضوع كله ك ك subjects ومشاريع وكده أو تستفيد. بس لما تبدأ تروح. This is something really important. You have to focus into a little bit to join research labs, which is the facility for mechatronics in the faculty. هتقدر بعد كده تعرف أكتر ال research شغال إزاي في العالم أو research and development شغال إزاي في العالم. هتقدر بعد كده تكون خلفية عن المشروع اللي أنت عايز تعمله أو contribution بتاعك اللي أنت عايز تقدمه في أي مجال معين. مش تعمل مش copy and paste مش شوية كودز من على النت وتجمعهم ببعض. فالفترة الأخيرة الصيف اللي فات والترم السابع الترم السابع كنت في الاترونكس لاب شغال مع دكتور أمير ومع كذا تي إيه يعني آه الحمد لله استفدت جدا قدرت أعرف عن الإي إم جي سنسورز ما كانش عندي خلفية عنهم قدرت أعرف عن بايو انسبايرد روبوتس زي اللي بيشتغل عليه تي إيه خالد وقدرت أعرف عن فيرتشوال رياليتي وحاجات كتيرة جدا مفيدة حاليا ولحد ما العالم بيدور حولها الإي إم جي سنسور والإي إي جي الإي إم جي سيجنالز والإي إي جي سيجنالز اللي هي إشارات المخ وإشارات الماسلز لحد ما كل العالم مهتم دلوقتي ازاي يفهمها وازاي يعمل منها روبوتس وازاي يستخدمها استخدام بيساعد الانسان اكتر. مؤخرا دكتوره دكتوره من الدكاتره اللي بتشرف عليا اللي ماسكه معايا ميكانيكال ديزاين 
كان كلمتني وبتقول ان في هنا زي ساينس كونفرنس كل الطلاب بيناقشوا فيه مشاريع التخرج بتاعهم وكده اللي انا عايز اقوله ان فانت زي ممكن تقدم فيه لما لو حاول تخلص ابسا وعشان عشان تقدم فيه اللي انا حاول اقوله ان الديبارتمنت بتفتح مجالات كتير جدا وان الجامعه بتاعتنا الحمد لله في انت عندك ريسيرش لابس وعندك وعندك دكاتره اقوياء وعندك حاجات كتير جدا فانت تقدر تعمل شغل وكويس This is the last message for the second semester. I'd like to say that the fundamentals in the shop are the textbook problems that we have in the school. Because there is always a misconception that in mechatronics, what we learn in university is not applied anywhere. So that is wrong because it is applied and extended. So of course, mechatronics is a relevant specialization or uh, program uh, for some industries, like the semiconducting or uh, semiconductor manufacturing. I hope that you all have a good mechatronics department. And I hope that you all have a good job. I hope that you all have a good job. I hope that you all have a good job. Thank you. Enjoy the day of the day. I'm going to Berlin. Have fun. So let's let us thank you so much. I would like to thank them, especially one by one. And still, I would like to show you the facilities and laboratories in the departments that will help you to be one day to be able to be to be in that position. We have four main important labs and research groups. The first one, which is the medical and micro and nano robotics, the MNR lab, the Aerotronics Laboratory for Biomechatronics and Sensors Technology, the Aerotronics lab, the Multi Robot System Control and Dynamical Systems Research Group. So, all these groups and all these facilities is open for you while you're still undergrad, so you can start to join them. And based on that, it might be able to publish your first papers while you are still undergraduates. So this is the first lab. I would like to show it to you a little bit. And I have a candidate from the lab itself, Engineer Abdullah. Here is the demo for the lab. And he's going to talk a little bit about the lab. Who's the mic, Abdullah? So he is going to say and show what, what they are doing in that lab. Thank you, Dr. Amir. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Abdullah Muhammad, a teaching assistant at uh, the Faculty of Mechatronics and a, a former bachelor student at the Medical Nano and Micro Robotics Lab, and currently I'm a master's student there. Well, to me, uh, MNR is another way how we could impact lives through mechatronics engineering, OK? So the lab was founded uh, in 2013 by assistant professor uh, Islam Khalil uh, in the German University in Cairo. And it has a diverse team uh, of multidisciplinary uh, uh, majors and faculties like pharmacy and EMS. Uh, it's mainly concerned about um, surgical and medical robotics. Okay, so actually we get inspired from nature and we build or control micro robots and nano robots, uh, bio-inspired ones to achieve targeted drug delivery to target cancer cells, for example, and to clear blood clots like uh, it's shown here in the video. So mainly we control the micro robots using magnetic or electromagnetic actuation externally. And uh, some examples of our project is the helical micro robot in which we use the magnetic uh, robotic arms to control the micro robots and uh, target cell, uh, uh, sp uh, specific cells and to clear blood clots at a faster rate. And um, uh, another thing is the uh, magnetosperms, which are inspired from sperms, and uh, it helps to simplify the surgical operations as well. Um, mainly, we uh, contribute to many competitive research topics internationally, and we publish many conferences, uh, conference papers and uh, journals. We have a lot of collaborations with international universities, like University of Twente, Max Planck, and uh, yeah, so um, uh, please join us uh, uh, because um, it, it's, it's uh, mechatronics is a, like a major that has a lot of opportunities 
uh, that will benefit you on the personal career and uh, impactful level when it comes to leaving a legacy in our world. Thank you. Thank you. So the other lab, or the other facility, which is the Control and Dynamical System Research Group, and in this lab and in this research group, the most research they are working with applying control linear and non-linear to specific systems like the quadcopter as we just mentioned right now. And don't keep looking for something like that, it's easy. It's something really hard to be able to make the takeoff hovering in the sky and return back for the ground as well. So this research group will help you with a lot of information if you are looking to be able to, special, to specialize in the control system. And the landing at the end of the video. The third laboratory, which is the multi-robot system, MRS laboratory. So this is the lab for the robots or the ROVs, the robots can be able to talk to each other and localize its position with respect to each other and that will support them to solve a lot of problems maybe in the future. The last one, which is the Aratronic system, as I just showed to you right now, the one with the MNR lab, it's inspired from nature. We are also have some project inspired by the systems existing already. So this is video a little bit will show what we are doing. So as you can see here in front of the panel and as you can see in the video, you will find out that we are working with the prosthetic devices or the artificial limbs. This artificial limbs could be able not to just fabricate it into the lab, but also we are connected that system to the brain activity. So we are developing sensors, biocompatible, to be able to take the signals back and forth from your brain to the prosthetic devices. And also there is some sort of virtual reality part as Hussein is starting to connect it with the Robux Cube here and it's moving virtually somehow. By that we are making what's called a bicalibration process for the signals coming from the nervous systems as a muscle EEG or EMG. All of my team into that lab starting to join from the fourth semester till the masters and the PhD as well. So most of the students at the ushers here now, they are working into that lab and they have applications as well. Here is the students start to shake hand the robot arm. So, this is the, the, the facilities and laboratories for the department. Now, the last part, which is the achievement for the students and the activities. Here is the students from all of these laboratories. They are get the best paper awards, and this is the Mechatronics student into international conferences. Guys, I'd like to urge you, wherever you are going to, to, to select today, please keep looking for joining a research group at the GUC. If your GPA is not high enough, that's not important. All companies, they are looking if you ha for the guys who are regular and normal persons. So if you are not very high, like 0 point something, but you have a publication, that will give you a lot of credit. So that's why I am focusing a lot into that part. Another activities for the students, the undergrad students here, they have contribution into one of the leading, like say, exhibition globally in Germany. It's called SIBIT. That happened last year. Our students from all of EMS, they got the best second place award and to the best design award, and most of them mechatronics. However, the rest of them are coming from the EMS background. And lately, since two days ago, our team had been selected to present their work in front of Mr. President El Sisi since two days ago. By that, guys, I would like to show you final things for your professors. They are going to do a lot of workshops during the semesters, during the five years, coming five years. 
This workshops could be oriented from the GUC in campus in Cairo and collaboration with GUC campus in Berlin. So all these workshops could be supporting you a lot to be able to reach your goal.